Vader, what do you think? My brand new outfit. Wow, Steve, you look amazing. What is the multiverse? My favorite outfit was ruined by Sonic the Hedgehog. But I've got a list of seven pranks and we are going to get our revenge. Hey, hey, Sonic. It took me ages to buy that brand new outfit and now I can't even wear it. It's ruined. Well, gee, I'm really sorry, kid. Sorry doesn't quite cut it. Are you going to pay for a new outfit? I don't have time for this. Get out of my way. That is not cool, Sonic. Oh, Guido, I've got to get my own back. And I'll do that by ruining his outfit, specifically his shoes. The problem is Sonic moves way too fast to catch him. So we are going to lay a trap from this light pole to this tree. We now have a trip wire. Okay, let's go ahead and hide. This is going to be so good. Oh, I know, dude. Oh, he hit the trip wire! Quickly, he's down! Hurry up and grab his shoe! I got it, Ew. Dude, that is so nasty! But it's about to get way more nasty because we are gonna fill that shoe up with a bunch of gross garbage! Now we'll just put them back on! And Sonic is now oh, literally head. the stinkiest hedgehog in the entire dimension! <laughs> Wait, why is everyone running away from me? know who I am? This is way too good, buddy. Let's keep the pranks going. Ugh, now I'm gonna be late for the race. Ooh, a race. Guido, this could be another opportunity to prank Sonic. Uh, hey, how's it going? Sonic, what took you so long? Yeah, and why do you smell so bad? <laughs> Will you guys quit it? You know why you're all here. Whoever wins this race will get an invite to my house for a party. <gasps> a party? At Sonic's place? Whoa, we better start stretching. And I better start pranking. We are gonna join the race and cheat to win it. And to do that, we need to get a disguise. Uh, Guido, meet Petey the Porcupine. Uh, Steve, that's a raccoon. What? Oh, the mess dude lied to me. Uh, anyway, they're still getting ready for the race, so my plan is simple. We are just gonna run along this beach, dig up the sand, and leave some pits for these guys to fall into. What? That's never gonna work. Whoa! <laughs> You were saying, Guido? Now there's three competitors, so we are gonna leave three pits. Once they fall in, it should be easy for us to reach the finish line and win the race. Now let's go introduce ourselves. Hey, who is that? Uh, hey there, friends. My name is Peeny the Porcupine. But I, uh, also have some raccoons in my family. Peeny the Porcupine? So where are your porcupine spikes, huh? Uh, excuse me! Never ask a porcupine how he lost his spikes! Let's just start the race! Three, two, one, go! You got this, Steve! <laughs> I definitely do, Guido, especially with my traps coming up. I just gotta make sure I hang back because I do not want to be the first person in front or I'm gonna fall into the trap, so let's just hang behind Amy here. Wow, she is really slow. Wait up, Gaz! Oh no, I'm so slow! Wow, look, dude, after a slow start, Amy's got the lead. I kind of feel bad because... <laughs> Tails' pit is coming right up. I've marked it right there, Guido, so you and I can see it easier. And here we go. What the? Tails just jumped straight over it. Oh, Guido, fly ahead. We need a backup option. Build a sandcastle. Uh, how exactly is this gonna help Steve? Well, we're gonna put something heavy inside. And now when Tails runs into it, eating the porcupine is gonna win the race. Yeah! And the winner is... Petey? Hey, that wasn't fair! Petey cheated! Is that so? What? No, I won fair and square! I'm telling the truth! I would never tell a porky lie! Guido, did that sound convincing? No. Well then, how about this? Tails, Amy, Knuckles, you three are coming over to my place, and Petey here can stay put. Oh, man! Oh, Sonic thinks his friends are so loyal to him! Well, for my next prank, I'm gonna get to this party and turn his friends against him. Whoa, buddy, look at this. This is Sonic's house? Dude, the guy is doing well for himself. Okay, let's go ahead and see what they're talking about. If I want Sonic's friends to turn on him, then I need some, oh, some information. I'm so glad Petey isn't here. Porcupines give me the creeps anyway. Well, clowns give me the creeps. 
Guido, Guido, write this down! I'm scared of water. Yeah, those things are scary, but loud noises are the worst. Bam! Come on, all right, I've got all the information I need. Guido, wait here! Wait, where are you going? <laughs> I am gonna ruin this party. <gasps> oh my gosh, a clown car! Uh, excuse me, I need your car! Very important business right here! Hopefully Guido can keep Sonic and his friends distracted! <sighs> Anyway, I better get going. Oh no! Knuckles is leaving! I've got to stop him! Yeah. Yeah. Ah. What's going on? <laughs> that van is bound to have a bunch of clown goodies in there, which I can use to play with Sonic's friend's fears. Just gotta ram this guy off the road! Ah. Boom! What a hit! Oh, fingers crossed there's gonna be some good stuff in here. Let's go ahead and get down to the van and check. Yeah. So we got a clown outfit, and look, a bunch of fireworks. There, I fixed the lights. Oh, now Tails is leaving. Don't worry, Guido, I'm back. Uh, and as you can see, I have another disguise. Anyway, we are gonna use Sonic's car to temporarily block the door. Uh, why temporarily? <laughs> You'll see, dude. Is locked. Uh, Steve, they're pushing against the door. <laughs> Perfect. I'll just back out of the way, let them open the door, and boom! <laughs> oh, they're heading around the back. So I've got to make sure that I beat them there and put down a few surprises. <laughs> Knuckles is going to be so freaked out, he's not even going to see! Cool. <laughs> was this some kind of prank, Sonic? He was the only one that knew our fears. He did this. Let's go, guys! No, come back! Now that Sonic's friends have turned on him, I want to reveal one of Sonic's biggest secrets. This is Sonic's master bedroom. Now, right here, there's got to be a... <gasps> Diary! Now I've got this, I'm gonna reveal it to the entire GTA dimension! Ow! Ow! Hey! Who in the multiverse is that? <sighs> Some TV will calm me down. Hey everyone! I'm interrupting the usual programming to bring you a big secret about Sonic the Hedgehog. He secretly has a Lick Lock account where he dances to popular music! Look at him go! <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, let me go ahead and read another excerpt from his diary. If we just turn the pages here, we should see... And that is another prank complete! You... you ruined my life! Uh, and you ruined my outfit! Oh! Uh, uh, Guido! Sonic is so much more powerful now! That's not just Sonic! That's Super Sonic! <laughs> I've still got more pranks on my list. I can't let him take me down now. My next prank is to capture Super Sonic. And I'm gonna use that porta potty to do it. We just gotta run over here, stand in front. And when Super Sonic comes charging in, <laughs> we dive out of the way. Hey, get out of here right now. Ha! You'd like that, wouldn't you? Yes? Well, it's not happening. In fact, wait right here, Sonic. I know you're not going far, but I've got a little special present for you. Oh, Guido, he is going to absolutely hate me after this. Do you not think he hates you already? Eh, probably. Anyway, we are going to use this helicopter. We're going to fly it into the air. And do you see that hook right there? We're going to use it to grab the porta potty Let's just lower ourselves down. Yes, gotcha! <laughs> oh, oh, watch out for the water tower there. Don't want to whack Sonic into it. That is another prank complete. And now that we have Sonic, let's take him for a little ride. Dude, there are so many cars on the highway. What if we just dangle him in front of them? Whoa, whoa, we're getting some near misses here, Sonic. Wow. Dude, he cannot be having a good time down there. I mean, listen to him. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Because I was saving up all that time to finally buy myself a nice outfit. And you ruined it. So now, I'm going to ruin you. Whoa! And to do that, Guido, I'm going to bring him all the way across the GTA dimension to the stinkiest lake in the area. That's right, he's going to go swimming in this stinky lake here. Just make sure we don't go crashing into it. And... Splash! <laughs> oh, jeez! Uh, yeah, I mean, we got the job done. Oh, Steve, we stink! 
Ah, yeah, but definitely not as bad as Sonic must be smelling right now. He's still trapped in there, and all of that stank is being trapped in there as well. Uh, whoa! Oh, and it's gonna break out! Okay, we don't have much time to get our next prank done. But fingers crossed, we can find something. Aha! In here to help us with it. Here we go, let's just hop on this bike. Wait, what are you planning here, Steve? Well, Guido, remember when Sonic kicked up all that garbage at me? Well, we are gonna do the exact same to him. We're gonna go ahead and park ourselves outside of this porta potty. And we're just gonna hit the accelerator and the brake at the same time. Get our wheels spinning! Oh, and look at all that mud! And now when Sonic finally breaks out the porta potty, I'm finally gonna get my revenge! <laughs> Well, Sonic, got something to say to me? <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry for being such a jerk. Yes! Guido, that is my final prank complete. Now let's go ahead and get out of here. Uh, oh, oh, sorry, dude. Didn't see you there.